Let me get on the other side. Hi. Quest for the Brotherhood should be passed through Night Shin. No, come here. Oh, that explains it. No, it says speak to Paladin Ramadi. Oh, there we go. Must be the one I've been hearing about. Paladin Layla Romani. What do you need? Well. So, Scribe Valdez wrote me a letter of recommendation. Here you go. Well, between this and the report I have from Night Shin, we can discuss you becoming a member of our order. And Yay! Consider it carefully. Do you wish to join our ranks? Without a doubt. Uh, what, what would it mean if I did? Membership in the Brotherhood is a commitment to honor, duty, and service. You would begin as an initiate in our ranks. With time and training, you may one day join the scrolls as a knight or scribe, depending on your aptitudes and choices. On a day-to-day -day basis, Knight Shin would be your direct superior here, though any of the officers may requisition you for missions if needed. Okay, I want to know what happens if I don't want to join. <laughs> I don't know, you seem like jerks. I'm not going to say that. Uh, Shin and Valdez, uh, Valdez both recommended me? Both have given their approval to your initiate consideration. Yes. Ah, oh, so Shin might be a hard ass, but he's a... He's good. Uh, what did uh, Shin say about me exactly? Knight Shin said that your attitude regarding the role of the Brotherhood in relation to the civilian community was questionable. Nonetheless, he felt your intentions were honorable and suitable training would correct any deficiencies. Which means he probably thought I'd like you. That remains to be seen. I mean, that's a... That's fair. I mean... I don't think he's an ass, if that's weird to say. I think he's... He's tough and he's rough, but I think he's fair. And that makes for good... Uh, you know... Military training type stuff. Like, that's the person I would probably put in charge of training... If I was his superior, but that's just me. Uh, what the uh, what did Valdez have to say exactly? In short, she thinks you are capable, helpful, and possessed of a higher than average technical aptitude. Useful qualities in an initiate candidate. Okay, I had other questions. Yes. Sure, I'll just join. I don't think I could. Put, I don't think I could deny this. Because it's either I'm not ready to make the decision yet and potentially hold off the storyline or disrespect them, which I don't want to do. So I would like to join if you'll have me. With the recommendations of Knight Shin and Scribe Valdez, I'm willing to consider you for membership. But first, I need to see how you handle yourself without direct supervision. Oh, she's sending me out a mission. In order to be effective in our operations here, we need to establish positive relations with the people of Appalachia. If we make them see us as a beneficial presence in the area, it will be much easier to secure cooperation in the future. We have reports of feral ghoul attacks on traders and travelers in the southwest forest region, indicative of a nest of some kind. I want you to clear it out. All right, seems seems easy enough. Feral ghouls have very little armor, so uh, we don't know how dangerous this might be. Surely this is. I'm kind of curious. I want to go with that. If I do this, I'll be in the Brotherhood? Complete this mission satisfactorily, and I will grant you initiate status within the Brotherhood. Yes. Uh, so where's this nest exactly? We don't know. Our initial reports on the attacks came from a family of farmers, the Putnams, that we passed on the way into the region. Hi think their sons were rather starstruck when we showed up. <laughs> I almost expected the older boy to follow us when we left. You should start your search there. They may know more. You can find them at the old Lewis and Sons farming supply. Okay. Sounds sounds good. Uh, why haven't you had any of the other initiates do this already? Well, I'm not in the habit of explaining my priorities to would-be recruits. You may have noticed there's a lot of work to be done. I did notice. You doing it accomplishes the mission and adds another member to our ranks. 
Two birds, one stone. I mean, that's fair, man. I, I kind of really am enjoying this, man. I really like how they're implementing the Brotherhood in in 76. I was actually a little worried considering lore ramifications, but I do, I am liking how they're it, uh, adding the Brotherhood of Steel in in Fallout 76. It makes me really happy, actually. Uh, I'm just going to go for it and see what she says with this. I hope she doesn't get mad. Uh, we don't know how dangerous this might be. Surely this is worth a little bit of an extra reward. Your reward is that I consider you worthy to join our ranks. Damn it. Limited intel suggests this is a milk run. Perfect for a new recruit. But you're not wrong. We don't know the level of threat. Take this as an additional precaution. Let me guess. Stim packs. <laughs> oh, I can't even see. I think I got everything I need. Oh, yeah, it is a stim pack. Well. Do this. And you will be one of us, with all the rights and responsibilities of a full member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium, sister. Oh, I should have read Valdez's thing. Aw. Oh well. <laughs> all right, whatever. Let's go. You know. You're, you're proving it by just providing guards. Somebody has to defend the place. Everybody can't be the paladins going out and doing stuff. You know what I mean? I'm excited to get out on this mission, though. Like, very excited to go out on this mission. It's our first. After we complete this, we're officially in the Brotherhood of Steel. Granted, as an initiate, but hey, whatever. I'll take it. Let's see here. All right. So I should have probably picked up my loot, huh? Oh well. Hold on. What is this? Find the kids in Fort Atlas. So then, what's the mission out here? Am I, am I tripping? What is this? Yeah, that's the... I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. You know, I think it'll be cheaper on my wallet if I go to my camp first and then go down there. Hopefully, everything seems fine. I might be able to just run there, but I don't really want to run there. So I'm going to just... Whenever the world loads in, I'm just gonna fast travel over to... The little farming area. Should be, uh, should suffice the situation. I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. Uh, claim the workshop, sons. All right. Map. Now let's fast travel down here. Wait, what is this? I'm not going to claim this workshop right now. So let's, uh, toggle active. We'll toggle it to dis to off basically and then we'll head on out look at me that's my main character my camp is a little different than that now but it's basically the same thing i changed the wallpaper and then my vending machines are on the right side now and then my whole living area is on the left i like my house <clears throat> let's see here it's actually kind of the same as the house that i made for this character but I do want to make a different style house for this character, though. I don't know. We'll see. Um, is there anybody? Hey, it's a Mr. Handy. All right, whatever. Let's go. Enter solo. Being in a public team really does help. Oh, snap. Mom, Dad. Who do you think you are barging in here? George? Hold it, stranger. Oh, snap. Look, just relax. I'm with the Brotherhood, alright? The Brotherhood? 
Again? Oh, man. <laughs> cool. Ha <laughs> ha. I told you they'd be back, Colin. He's definitely starstruck. Lower the gun, George. All right. Why don't you come over here and we'll try to do this like civilized folk. I wish it would have panned the camera. Uh, Colin. What's this guy's name? Marty McFly. George. Wait a minute, George? Marty? Because I don't remember the mom's name. That would have been funny if his name was Calvin. Calvin Klein. <laughs> now you need to be more careful just waltzing into people's homes. It's a good way to end up with more lead in you than is healthy. I'm I mean... Carol Putnam. This is my husband, George. Hi. Now, won't you tell us why you're barging in here and... Maybe we can all be friendly when you're done. Perhaps. Perhaps. Uh. This is your farm? The signs outside says Lewis and Sons. Might not be Lewis or Sons, but <laughs> this here's ours. Well, Lewis was a cousin of mine back in the day. God rest his soul. He and his family didn't make it when the bombs fell. We were looking up. Good place to put down roots, and we heard it was safe to come back to West Virginia. I told Carol we ought to see if this place was still here. Even after all these years, there's enough salvageable tools and such to make starting a farm easier here than your average homestead. Didn't see any point in updating the sign. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh... Do you agree all... No, I'm not going to say that. The Brotherhood actually sent me here to ask about the whole feral ghoul situation in the area. Uh, and perhaps maybe we can assist? Those would be them military types in the heavy armor that came through here recently, right? Yep, that's them. I'm the one that told them about those attacks. These Brotherhood guys are so cool. Wait, are you recruiting? I, I want to sign up. I was literally going to say he wants to join. The adults is talking. <laughs> want to know about them ghouls. Yeah, I do actually. Uh, you boys, you boys both want to join the Brotherhood? Lord, don't get them started. Oh, oh, yeah. The the blazers, the power armor. They are the coolest thing I have ever seen. Yeah, they are pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. Chores now, and you get confused by the generator. Who you be? I'm not a shrimp like you. Uh, you guys will both be fine. Out of my hair. George! <laughs> I'm just kidding. You boys know we love you. <sighs> oh, wow. What about that sigh, though? Uh, Carol. Would... Yeah, I think she's the one in charge, so... Uh, Carol, would you let your sons join the Brotherhood? Now, I don't like it, but they're adults. Close enough, I guess. And I know they're bound to want to do their own thing. But the farm needs work. We can't do it alone. If one of them wants to go, well now, George and I'll just have to live with it. But you ain't taking both of my boys, though. I think, honestly... Me, 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 me. Uh, well, what about you, George? What do you think about your sons joining the Brotherhood? Careful, George. You heard the wife. She says one of them can go, then... One can go, I suppose. Uh, I mean, I wasn't really sent here to do any recruiting, though. I'd prefer you kept it that way, then. I was just asking questions. You, I'm good with machines, and I work hard. Heck, I'm the one who repaired the bots outside. Ah, forget about him. The Brotherhood's tough. Not a bunch of nerds. I'd be perfect. They would both... They would both be perfect for the Brotherhood for two separate things. The younger one, I believe his name was Marty, the one with the, the, the school jacket, the the Letterman jacket. He would probably be better f suited in the field, like doing field stuff like uh, like a paladin, for example. And the other guy, I can't remember his name, uh, he would probably be better as a field scribe. But that's just my opinion. I think they would both be perfect and useful for the Brotherhood. But anyways... Enough about that. I had some other questions. Fine by me. I wonder if at any time we can actually get them to join. That'd be pretty 
freaking awesome. Uh, is it just uh, the four of you here? Me, George, and the boys. Marty's the over-eager one. Colin's the quiet one. I hope I don't need to remind you we're not defenseless. There's also the robots outside, of course. I got them helping with the chores. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Those kids are uh, funny. Us, the robots, and the dogs, I guess. <laughs> and enough firepower to discourage pests. That's good, though. It's always good to defend yourself. Uh, especially in the, in the wasteland, right? Uh, how's the farm doing? Well, we're getting to be self-sufficient soon. Greenhouse is getting there. George wants to restore the house, but we're fine in here. The boys are going to want rooms of their own, dear. Don't act like you wouldn't mind being away from their snoring. We've got other work needs doing first. Lord, if I can put up with your snoring for 20 years, I can sure <laughs> deal with them. Alright, well anyways, back to business. Uh, Paladin Ramadi actually sent me here to... Uh, uh, to find out if you knew where the feral ghoul attacks were coming from. Can't say for certain. We got a suspicion, though. A lot of the sightings and attacks been from folks traveling the highway to Flatwoods. They come out of the hills, northwest of the old creamery. And the only thing out that way is what's left of the Orwell orchards. Could be the source of the things. You gonna wipe them out when you find them? Yeah, I mean, that's the plan. Uh, sounds like I'd be helping you out uh, if I did. Maybe I'm not gonna pry these guys out, man. They're a small family. Uh, the plan's to clear out the place entirely, yeah. Good to hear. You'd be doing everybody in the area a favor. That's for sure. Safe roads mean safer traders. Good for everyone. The Brotherhood would definitely be making friends if you pull this off. Any idea how many there might be? Not sure. More than a few. Less than an army. From what folks have said, if you're going in alone... Even a few can swarm you before you even realize what's happening. Yeah, I've dealt with them before. Uh, I wanted to ask you some other questions, though. Well, actually, you know... Yeah. Thanks for the info. I should be heading out, though. Just try not to startle us if you drop by again. George has a hair trigger with that shotgun. Yeah, I wouldn't want to destroy him. I kind of want to walk around this guy's house... Or these guys' house... It's it's cozy. I like it. Wait, I can talk to him. You you gotta take me with you. I'm ready for this. I just know it. I'll be just like that night Shin who was here before. Uh. Man. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I think I would rather take Marty. He's the one that I feel would benefit more from the Brotherhood of Steel. Because he wants it so bad, he could be very beneficial. The other guy is smarter and stuff, but... I don't know. I think his intelligence is probably better suited... Uh, let me see. Let me ask him some questions. Uh... Uh, man, I don't know what to say. Have you ever actually been in a fight? Well, no. Uh, but, but, I use rifles sometimes to keep critters away from the crops. One night, I thought I saw a super mutant coming out of the woods. So I shot it. Dad came running because of the noise. It turned out, it was just dark and I shot a bush. But I <laughs> Okay, <laughs> maybe he's not suited for the Brotherhood then. Uh, what makes you a good recruit for the Brotherhood? I'm strong, I'm fit, and I'm ready to fight. Whatever you need, I'll fight mutants, or ghouls, or raiders, or, or uh, whatever. Uh, you met Night Shin? Heck yes, and Paladin Romani. So cool. Yeah, I, I asked him a bunch of questions and told them about wanting to leave the farm and everything, and they said I was remarkably keen. <laughs> uh, 
I, I think that means they like me. Hmm. Uh. Would you really want to leave your parents here? Oh, mom and dad are fine here. The farm is their dream, not mine. Besides, the only thing I'm really good for around here is hauling things. I can't grow anything to save my life. I know Colin's got the brains, but even I know that's a bad thing for a farmer. Wait. So then, your brother's prob... I don't know, I want to talk to your brother. Uh, you don't have to join the Brotherhood. You don't have to join the Brotherhood to leave the farm, you know. Uh, see you around, Marty. Oh. Uh, all right. I'll be here if you change your mind about me joining. All right. I want to talk to your brother first. I really would like to join the Brotherhood. I know I'm not as strong as my brother, but you've got to have a need for somebody smart, right? Uh, so you're saying you're smart? I'm smarter than Marty, anyway. No offense to my brother, but if he can't solve a problem with his muscles, he's stumped. I read anything I can find. Most of the work and machinery around the farm is my handiwork. I'm the one who got the bots running. The Brotherhood can't be all brawn and no brains, right? Yeah, I mean... Do you think you can handle yourself in combat? I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't be nervous. Won't know until it happens, I suppose. But I'm willing to risk it if it means getting out of here. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I, there, I don't think this. I think this is one of those situations where it's like there is no right answer. They both have their fit in the Brotherhood. He is capable of being a field scribe. The other guy is capable of being a paladin. The question is, my decision is gonna rely more on what would benefit their parents more. I think if I'm gonna if I'm 100% honest, I think he is better off staying here because he can program the bots to help out and more bots means more help uh would you rather stay with your parents or wouldn't you rather stay with your brother it's safer here it is safe so safe i'll end up still running this place when i'm old there's nothing wrong with farming and i love my parents but there's so much more out there I don't think he's... I don't think he's military material. Let me see. You don't seem like the military type, though. Maybe I'm not. But I'm not cut out to be a farmer, either. The Brotherhood has tech. And that's an opportunity to learn. That's all I want. Yeah, he's perfect for a freaking scribe. Uh, there's other ways off the farm than joining the Brotherhood. Maybe so. But Marty's right about one thing. The Brotherhood has the coolest tech. It'd be amazing to get to work with it, learn from them. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this brother. I think ultimately the best traits okay. is being physically fit. I'll be here if you reconsider. Although he can do that on his own and get to that position, his brother's already ready in that department. And that's really the ultimate thing. Plus, he's not good at farming at all. And that's not going to help the parents out a lot. Or at all. You, you gotta take me with you. I'm ready for this. I just know it. Plus the other brother. Just like that night shit who was here before. The other brother, Colin. He's smart enough to find another way off the, the farm. Even if that means programming a bunch of robots. I think he's the best bet in my opinion. For me, at least. Let me know down uh, in the comments or whatever. If you're watching this on the main channel. Or even here on the streaming channel. Uh... Whichever way you're watching this, by the way, there's a link to the other channel in the description. But let me know down in the comments who you decided to choose uh, to join the Brotherhood. Of course. Them showing up is the most exciting thing that's happened to me in, like, ever. I know I sound like a kid asking for a treat, but I mean it. I'll do whatever it takes. I believe you. Can you really get me in? I could probably ask. Uh, I can't promise they'll take you, but if you help me, I can vouch for you. Oh, of course. I'm sure they'll listen to you. I'll be a big help. Just you wait. But are you sure you want to take me? I, I don't want to talk you out of anything, but I'm not your only choice. I mean, the best choice, obviously. 
<laughs> that sounds like the outer world. It's not, it's not, it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Uh, I'm certain. I like your attitude, Marty. Awesome. Yes. Yes. You are not gonna regret this. I promise. I will be the best recruit ever. I'll get my things and meet you at Orwell Orchards. Don't worry. You go on ahead. I will be there. Awesome. Looks like we got a recruit for the Brotherhood. I'm really, really enjoying this DLC, man. I heard it's super short. I don't know anything about the story or anything like that. I'm going, I'm learning all of this as I'm playing along here with you guys. But to be honest, I'm really enjoying this. This is probably the best DLC so far in the game. Before this, it was probably Wastelanders just because they added human NPCs. But realistically, that should have been there from the beginning anyways. Uh, but I think pound for pound, this is probably my favorite. All right, let's go to... Yeah, let's go to the bridge, and then we'll make our way there. Eight caps, sure, no problem. Yeah, I'm really liking this DLC. It's probably, pound for pound, the best DLC that we've experienced so far here in Appalachia. Or Fallout 76, just period. This is a good game, man. And it's it's really starting to feel full and complete. Like, I think it's been complete since Wastelanders, but I think it's really starting to really feel complete with this DLC. All right, where are we at? Let's go. I should probably have my gun ready just in case. Ah, I'm stuck. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go roof hopping. The these guys can't get me if I found them. Wait, feral ghouls. Locate the source of the attacks. Wouldn't the robots get attacked if there were feral ghouls here, though? How big is the circle? It's not very big. Let's go. What is going on? Where is these feral ghouls? I like roof hopping. It's fun. There's a dead man right there. If I had to guess, it's probably down here. How far are we from the edge? That's strange. I don't know where these feral ghouls are. Could it be inside one of these things? Well, there's nothing in there. Or here. I'm stuck. Let's check the main house. There's probably a basement or a cellar or something. Let's go ahead and sneak. Get out of my way, robot. Yeah, this is it. This is scary. We will figure this out, though. Hey, there he is. I hope I made the right choice. What are you doing, bro? All right, you're here. Uh, sorry for rushing in first, but I just couldn't wait. Ooh, this basement is crazy, right? Uh, this, this has got to be the place. So, how are we doing this? Uh, with our hands. Uh, get fired up, Marty. I'm on point, and we're going in hot. Uh, just keep calm and follow my lead. And try not to hit me in a panic. We'll get through this. Um... Yeah, I'm on point and we're going in hot. Right on. Yeah, let's go. I'm on your six. That's what you say, right? Yes, that means behind me. That okay. I heard some footsteps. See you later, buddy. Come on, give me my my stuff back. Oh god. 
There's one right over there. Let's go. Oh no. Ah. Get away from me. Marty, where are you? Um, he's literally just standing there. He's getting his ass beat now. I chose the wrong guy. Oh god. One's dead. Marty, you dick. Where'd he go? Is he dead? Oh no, he's right there. Um. I guess I'll just take the junk. <laughs> Marty is such a weenie. Oh dude, I'm gonna have to switch out guns here. Can dog food, sure, why not? I'm gonna have to do this stealthfully, so... I guess it's time for the fixer. What are those stats for this again? Anti-armor, fire rate, plus one agility. This is definitely a good choice. Spacer's choice. Dude, look at all these. Come on. Oh God. Oh, no, I think it was just bugged. Oh God, I'm stuck. Hurry up and reload. Oh snap, it's a feral ghoul. I mean, it's a... Oh God, I'm gonna die. Run away. Oh God. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Let's go. Yes, I know. Oh God. Oh. I'm not worried about it. Marty, you'll be all right. I just hope he doesn't die. If he dies, I'm gonna be sad. Come on. Woo! I think he's dead. Get out of here. Marty, where are you at? Please tell me you're still alive. Um, Marty? Marty? Oh god, run! Alright, he's still alive. I don't want to shoot Marty. Come on, baby. We got this, bro. Maybe. You know what? Let's go. Let's go. Woo! He was definitely a tough one. You know what? He was scared at first. And probably still is scared. But he's holding his own. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, heal up a little bit. Probably drink some water. Stay hydrated. I'll eat in a little bit. Right now, I have bigger fish to fry. I think there's only one left. Um, I don't need that. And I don't want to get it, so... Wait, hold on. What's going on here? How do I get to the other side? Okay, there's a hole in the wall. These feral ghouls have been causing all kinds of commotion. I want this meat. Never mind. There is no meat. This is probably the bathroom. Maybe I could find some meds in here. Get away from me. Alright, so there's no... Where'd he go? I wanted the meat. Alright, whatever. Get out of my way. He's holding his own. He's doing good. 
all things considering. See you later. I need to fix my weapons. This one's fine for the most part. Alright, what do we got going on though? Is that everything? Did we did we just do a full circle? We did. Let's speak with Marty. You know what? I'm proud of you, Marty. You oh, held your own. Crap. Wow. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm alive. That was intense. Uh How's your first taste of action? I uh well now that it's over. I won't lie, I was I was pretty freaked out. That was too my first firefight. Still be freaked out? My, my my heart's racing and I think I've got the shakes. Is it okay if I get some real training before we do anything like that again? <laughs> Absolutely, dude. It was actually probably ill advised the fact that I brought you with me in some real live action. Uh Are you okay? Uh is it weird if I've never felt this alive? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm okay. I, I don't think I've got any permanent injuries. He's definitely the right choice, I think, in my for my personal opinion. Uh, after all that, are you still interested in joining the Brotherhood? Oh, for sure. More than ever. He's paladin material. The fight was amazing. If they can teach me to be half as cool as you, it'll be the best. You're gonna have to work for it, man, but you'll eventually make paladin rank and... Honestly, I, I I think that would be perfect for you. You handled yourself all right out there, man. Uh, pack your things and report to Fort Atlas for your training. You got it, boss. I'm going to make you proud. Don't worry. You, Mom, and Dad. Maybe even Colin. I'll see you there. Good job, man. I'm proud of you, dude. I really am. It's kind of funny, though, because I'm in the Brotherhood and I'm using a plasma rifle right now. I don't think they've went gotten... I don't remember the timeline very well, but I don't think they've met the Enclave yet. Like, battled against them. I could be wrong. I don't know. I know the Enclave, obviously, is in Appalachia, but I'm not sure if the beef between both parties has started yet. Uh, they probably did. I don't know. Or maybe it started right after the war. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just fast travel straight to Paladin Ramadi. Oh, that freaking robot scared the hell out of me. Uh, where is it? It's up here somewhere. Find the kids. There we go. This is definitely a good story. I'm very excited for this. Very, very excited for this. So much for like the, the real live action test from a Romati. I think I, I think I surpassed her expectations with this one. Shut up. Let's go. I wonder if he's going to be in here already. You going to let me in or what? There we go. That was weird. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if uh, Marty's going to be here. I think he's a perfect fit for this. He's probably going to fight on a uh, fall under Shin too. Let's see. Marty, are you here? Marty. Marty? Are you... Is she... Is she talking to me? Okay then. Hey. Wait. Welcome back. Have you completed your assigned mission, candidate? I did actually. I've cleared out the feral ghouls and found a new recruit at the same time. So that's why the Putnam boy showed up here. He's very enthusiastic. Nothing a little training and discipline can't mold. I agree. Looks like you've expanded our ranks by more than just yourself. Assuming he doesn't wash out. No, he'll be all right. Initiative, soldier. Good work. 
You've not Thank only you. met the challenges our officer set you, but you have gone above and beyond by bringing a new brother into our order. I hereby confer on you the status of probationary initiate in the Brotherhood of Steel. Yay! I'm sorry, but we'll have to put the official initiation right on hold. Something's come up, and we need to deal with it right away. Uh-oh. If you've got anything else you need to take care of, make it quick. Report to me again when you're ready. I think I'm ready. It's now telling me that my weapon broke. Alright, let me see. What's the next mission, though? So, field testing is complete. Stim packs. Radways. Okay. Wait, did I get a plan? I trust you're adjusting to service for the Brotherhood. Uh. Maybe a recipe? No. No plans? No. No plans. Alright, so disarming discovery is our next mission. No me. We'll make Appalachia a better Help place for repeat. everyone in issue. You're part of that now. This ration request doesn't even have a name on it. The farmhand, that's what it was. 40... Hold on, I want to look at that. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. So, 40% faster swing speed, plus one endurance, 30% damage to feral ghouls. I honor your service in issue. It's alright. The command center is not a social area. Alright, what I'm going to do though, I'm going to go back to my camp before we progress and I want to put the new weapons into my storage and actually uh, repair my weapon man because my laser rifle is my primary weapon and I I, I like my plasma it packs more punch but realistically that's just my side like my my backup Obviously, so we're definitely gonna go repair my laser rifle. It actually held its own. I Think I Still don't like the fact that they break so easily though. They already don't hit that hard to begin with So the fact that they break so easily it just kind of makes them borderline unusable, but I definitely want to use That those weapons so uh, I'll keep that for now all right, let's put that in there. Get in there. So I think I got to wait for the server to <laughs> respond so that I can do this. There we go. So the farm hand, get your butt in there. Eventually. It's actually not a bad weapon if you're role playing. I Probably will never use it, but yeah, there's that. Did I get any armor or anything? I could probably use this instead of my hat, seeing as I am role-playing as a Brotherhood of Steel. Alright, actually, that's actually what I'm going to do. Let me see what it looks like. On my head, I don't remember. I shake these nightmares. Since I'm officially in the Brotherhood, now I'm going to be using this. So let's go upstairs and fix my weapons.